Welcome to program knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about Arduino components. Okay, let's start. We have two parts in this video. First is microcontroller and pins, and the second is clock and power. Okay, let's start with the first session. This is the pin diagram of the Arduino Uno and also is the pin diagram of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Uh, I will talk about the 80 mega first. Uh, this is 80 mega belong AVR series has 28 pins. You can see in the picture it has three parts right here. First is um, part B, the second is part D and part C. Um, all not part can be used to input or output the data signal. Each part has the different pins function such as PWM pin, SPI pin, I2C pin or UR pin. And some power pin right here, GND and VCC to uh, supply power for chip. Um, next, I will talk about the Arduino board. Arduino board are developed from 80 mega 328 microcontroller Arduino Nano and Arduino Mini also use this microcontroller on board and um, they renamed own pins for easily call assemble uh, they mark 0 to 7 for box D uh, 8 to 13 for box B and A0 to A5 for box C uh, each of these pins doesn't change its function. It still uh, has function like PWM, uh, UR, I2C, or SBI. I will talk in the next video for each uh, function. Uh, but only the PWM, they mark a title right here. You can see the title is marked for PWM bin. Uh, as I said, all Arduino pins can receive input and send output digital signals. Pins from 0 to 13 are digital pins that can be received digital signal level 0 or 1. Uh, you can call it low or high signal. Uh, pin A0 to A5 are analog pins. This pin can still a digital pin because it still um, receive the digital signal or output the digital signal but they uh, Usually use this bin for analog, okay? This bin used for receive voltage signal and convert it to the decimal. Uh, usually called ADC or analog to digital convert. And some other bins right here, 3V3, 5V, GND and V in right here to supply the voltage. It have a reset right here to reset the board. Or you can uh, press the button reset right here for convenience. Okay. Next is the clock and power. Clock on Arduino, we can use external or internal crystal. But there is a 16,000 megahertz crystal on the bar. So we use the clock signal from around 16,000 megahertz. The ATM Mega 32A has both the external and internal too. Okay, next is power. We can supply power for Arduino board via power check right here. Uh, we can supply it from 5 to 12 voltage, but it should be less than 12 voltage because it may be hot when supplying power for a while. Or we can supply 5 volt via USB check right here. It is a USB check type B. Or we can supply via V in V in pin right here from 5 to 12 voltage. On the ball, there's some power LED right here. You are signal LED and some other electric components to help the board operate stably. So that's it all about the board and the microcontroller of the board. Supply power, clock, and pins. You can uh, find out it on the Google or you can search about uh, each function in the datasheet and I will talk about the function in the next video. Okay, thank you.